I went to the Transition Conference in 2010. I went along to an inner transition workshop, giving you space to explore the, the cringingly embarrassing emotions like anger and despair and uh, sadness and all those things that we, we tend to avoid engaging with. And um, found that I've got really emotional there, and um, but in a good way. You know, I'd been hiding um, my emotions and seeing them as separate to the work I was doing. And it was in that workshop that I realised actually these things go hand in hand and that I need to, if I'm going to have, if I'm going to run healthy projects, I need to have a healthy kind of inner world as well. Um, you know, that it's not just something I need to squash down so that I can get on with things. It's something that is intrinsic, you know, and, it, and that needs to be healthy. When I came back from conference, I spoke to a couple of people about whether they would want to do any more work, because I wanted to do more. Um, and they, were, they liked the idea, and so I contacted the contacts I had at different North London transition initiatives, but also local activists, um, so people that are running projects, and had this idea for having a workshop that will just be leadership support, so the leaders of different projects can get together, support each other. Um, network with each other um, and maybe even learn some skills they can take back to their own groups. I was very lucky um, because I knew there was someone living in my area who was, was trained at doing this kind of work and in fact there's two people in my area who can do it that I know of. Um, so I'd say it's really important to have someone who knows what they're doing, who is familiar with the work of Joanna Macy and knows how to set that kind of thing up. Um, and we do it on a pay basis so that we turn up and we all pay a, a certain amount to the facilitator because this isn't a holiday for, for her, you know, and she's not getting the same thing out of it that we're getting out of it. Um, so we, you know, that, some people might see that as a, a barrier, but that's what we've chosen to do. The start of this was around a sense of more space for local transition initiative leaders to um, to have a space to do some of the Joanna Macy work, the sort of work that reconnects, um, so acknowledging the despair and certainly that's part of what we do but actually it's kind of evolved into a space for peer support a space for connecting deeply with each other, a space for supporting each other and acknowledging the despair. But what I've noticed that's happened is, is it's all of those. And so some, some people are more comfortable with going into the despair side of things and some people it's, it's really more just coming together and supporting each other. That's fundamentally what it's all about. We've set up a very safe place for, that people are happy to open up in. Um, at the moment we're outside, often we're in my living room, which is a really, you know, it's become a very familiar setting for quite a few people. Um, so more than just, you know, meeting up and having a cup of tea, we're, we're able to deal with some very kind of personal stuff. And because we're all doing similar work, one way and, way and another, we understand what other people are talking about. and we're more prepared to, to share with people who we know get it, you know, from our point of view. They benefit by having a space to simply stop and switch off and to be held and to hold, it, hold each other for a while and to let go of that feeling that you're on your own and you've got so much to do. Um, so really just a space to stop and reflect and to connect and to just go, oh, just sort of let go of all that baggage and hard drive and just go, oh, we're all in this together and just chill out for a bit, but also to deeply connect with what's, what's real for them as well. Everybody gets to see that all of us are facing really similar issues. Um, and that there is really similar challenges. It really helps for people to get this sense of not being isolated with all this hard work. That's what I feel, or I see and have heard people really getting out of this.
because we're not in the transition town incorporated, there's no line manager sort of giving you a pat on the back. So for people who are running things, I think it's good to have peer support, for other people that are like yourself who can you know, hear what you've been up to and who understand the problems that you're facing. Um, and yeah, it's just nice making new friends as well. That lots of the people I've seen, I see come along here are, well, like myself and possibly you too, we're all sort of overwhelmed in a way. So a space to just stop and chill out in company, like-minded company where there is also a structure. So people are also being held and there are structures that are holding them. I think is vital to um, give people inner resources and inner strength around this type of work. I mean, I, I really do think it's really, really important. But ultimately, this type of work is all about giving people a space to connect with what's true for them. Um, and often that may have an emotional charge to it that people are not so comfortable or used to sharing. And that's very much what I encourage people to share, but it does, that doesn't mean it's emotional all the time. So it's about connecting to truth and from your own place and also through that sort of opening your heart essentially to where other, the others are coming from in a space of in a situation of conflict or something like that um, so that can be non-violent communication tools constellation tools simply sharing authentically with each other in structured exercises all these help people to go wow this is how I'm feeling this is what's true to me and being okay with that and from that feeling supported and resourced to not have so much emotional baggage and stuff get in the way of what they're doing and sort of pulling them down. Sometimes I don't feel emotionally engaged like my original experience at the conference with that in a transition workshop almost caught me by surprise um, and I am a person who puts up quite a lot of resistance to dealing with emotional stuff. I don't like it. Um, so sometimes I go to a session and it, 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 you know, I feel a bit like, a, like I'm watching everyone else do it. Um, and other times it's deeply moving, you know, and, I, and, I, and it reconnects me to, to why I'm doing this in the first place, which is what it's about really. It's very tiring being at the front of what you're doing or feeling that you're at the front of what you're doing um, and you can, you can forget why you're doing it um, but there's something about going back to the emotional pool, the emotional source that, that, that reminds you why you're doing it and puts you back in touch with, with that, that drive in a very good way you know and you, you, you feel happy about it again you know rather than on a treadmill so I think it's shifting perspectives, increasing awareness of, um, yeah, the fact that actually, ultimately, we're all in this together. We really are all in this together. Now I feel like I've got a really strong support network. Um, so there's at least 10 people I can phone up when things are happening and because I know that they know what's going on and I know about their lives as well. It's, it, it feels okay to do that. It's, it's, it's turned into much more than what I thought it would be. Um, it just goes to show you never can tell you know, what, what's going to happen when you, when you have an idea. So it's, de it's developed really well. Yeah.